hello friends welcome to the channel is ncm africa and here your fashion diy tutor so on this channel i make tutorials on fashion diys from dress making bag making and fashion accessories so today's fashion diy we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful peel boss hat from the scratch i'm going to be listing the materials i used for this and where to get them so you can see how beautiful this is looking check out the finishing isn't this beautiful so without further ado let's get started so these are the materials i'll be needing to make this peel box hat so i have this this is what i'll be using for my for the structure of the hat so this is called carry board or straw board so but in our local market is popularly known as carry board so you can get carry board from people that sell shoe making materials if you can't find this please ask any shoemaker around you they use this a lot and i have my velvet fabric you don't really need much for this project a little lining for the inner part then i have this quarter inch foam and all-purpose adhesive gum popularly known as shoemaker's gum so the first material i'm going to start with is the carry board and the first thing i'm going to do is to measure the head circumference i'm working with the head circumference i'm working with is 22 inches so i'll go ahead and mark out 22 inches so i'll mark out 22 inches so just make sure your tape is well placed like this so 22 inches so this is 22 inches that is a head circumference i'm working with and from these 22 inches, I'll just go up by 2.5 inches. Two and a half inches. Head circumference of 22 inches by two and a half inches. So after cutting your carry board like this, so this is head circumference by two and a half inches. I also went ahead to cut out a little piece like this from my carry board. So this is two and a half by one inch. So I'll be using this to bring the frame together. So I'll go ahead and apply my gum like this. So I'll just apply some gum. On this little piece and I'll do the same on the two edges of my frame so take note I'm applying the gum inside and not outside so I'll just apply just a little I'll just allow this dry for some few seconds so after letting this dry for some few seconds I'll be using this little piece to bring my frame together like this so after creating the base for the hat i'll keep this aside and the next material i'll be working with is the velvet fabric so the head circumference we are working with is 22 inches so we're cutting my material by 22 inches so i'll just mark out 22 inches and i'll be adding one inch for the sewing allowance so i'll be mark i'll be cutting out 23 inches all together and the height i'm working with is 23 by 13 inches so i'm gonna have to cut out the velvet fabric so this is 23 inches that is 22 for the head circumference plus one inch for the sewing allowance and i went up by 13 inches 
So after cutting, I'll go ahead and sew this. I'll bring this together like this. Take this to the sewing machine and close this up by half an inch. So after sewing by half an inch, you should have your fabric looking like this. So just keep this aside. The next thing to do, I'll be applying my gum inside the base like this. So after applying your gum, you can go ahead and just blow in some air for some few seconds. So after letting my gum dry for some few seconds, make sure your gum is not completely dried. So the next thing to do is to get this, turn it over to the wrong side. So fix it in like this. Open up this part. Open up this part. And go ahead and just gum this to your base so hope you can see what i'm doing clearly So after gumming your fabric to the base like this, you should have it looking like this. So please make sure you applied enough gum inside. Everywhere inside, make sure you apply enough gum. You know we have a lot of pulling to do. So by the time we are pulling this, everything will still be in place. So the next thing to do is to pull this out like this. So I'm going to be turning this over to the right side. And I'll be pulling out so you can see that was why I was emphasizing on applying enough gum inside to keep your fabric in place so that when you are pulling this out everything will still be in place so you can see what I have a very neat work so after doing this the next thing is to cut out the crown for the cap, so I'll just hold my cap like this. I'll place this on my carry board. So while placing this, make sure the shape of your cap is still in place. Make sure you are not altering the shape of your cap. So I'll go ahead and mark this out. So after marking, I'll go ahead and cut this out. So after cutting out the crown, I'll be applying some gum on just one side of the crown. So I'll apply my gum like this on one side of the crown. So after applying my gum, I'll let this dry for like two minutes, not completely dry, please. So after letting this dry for some few minutes, I'll just place it on my foam. Like this. So before cutting out, I'll be leaving about one inch allowance around my foam So after gumming this to the foam, I'll turn this over to the other side and I'll be applying some gum on the allowance I left. So 
So after applying the gum around like this, you can just go ahead and blow in some air to allow this dry for some few minutes. So after letting this dry for some few minutes, the next thing I'll do, I'm going to pick my cap and I'll be fixing this like this. I'll just fix this in like this from this part, from this part, not this part where I have the SS fabric. So just watch what I'm doing. I'll just go ahead and fix this in. So after making sure this is well placed, I'll just go ahead and gum the foam to the cap, just as you can see me doing. So after fixing the crown properly, it's time to create the gathered design on the hat. So I'll be gathering everything to the back where I have this joining. So just watch what I'm doing. So I'll just gather everything. So just bring everything to the back like this. So you can see the gathers are forming. So just pull everything to the back like this. So make sure you pull it very well so you can see. So the next thing, get your hand needle and thread and just sew like this. Use it to bring the gathers together. Use your hand needle and thread to bring the gathers together. Just as you can see me doing. So after gathering like this, just repeat the same thing. Go ahead and pass your needle and thread like this to secure the gathers very well. So the more you are doing this, the more the gathers are forming. So I hope you can see. You can see how the gathers are forming so just go ahead and keep gathering like this so after forming the gathers you can go ahead and still tie like this so after tying for like three to four times just go ahead secure this again just as you can see me doing So after making sure this is well secured, I'll go ahead and trim out 
the excess fabric I have here. So after trimming off and you are sure you've secured this properly, just go ahead and cut out the thread. Okay, you can see what we have here. Isn't this looking beautiful already? So check out the top of our cap looking so beautiful. So the next thing to do is to cover up this part with any design of your choice, any embellishment. You can create a rose, you can make a bow. I'm going ahead to make a bow. You can get an already made embellishment. Anything you can just use to cover this part to make it look beautiful. Please, just go ahead and do it. So I'll be using, I'll be making use of these two designs to cover this part. So I'll be fixing my bow like this. And I'll be using my hand needle and thread to attach this to my cap. So I've gone ahead to attach the bow design with my needle and thread. So the next thing to do, I'll be attaching this other embellishment to cover up this part. So you can see how beautiful it's looking. So we're attaching the designs before covering the inside. So the next thing I will do, I'll still go ahead using my needle and thread to just cover this up. So after fixing the design, this is what we have. So like I said, it mustn't be this particular design. You can just do any design of your choice. So the next thing to do is to cover the inner part of the cap. So I'll just get my lining, get my lining, place my cap on my lining, and I'll be marking this leaving about one inch allowance around my cap so after cutting i'll just place this inside my cap like this to see if it fits so I think what I have here is a little bit big, so I'll be trimming this a little. So after trimming this a little, I'll just fix it in to see if what I have is okay. So I think this is okay. So the next thing I'll do is to apply gum around this. I'm applying it on the wrong side of my lining. So after applying some gum like this, you can just blow in some air to let this dry up a little. So after letting this dry for some minutes, so the next thing to do, I'll be using this to cover the inside of the cap, just like this. So after covering with the lining, you can see it's looking very neat already. So I'll be using my ribbon to seal this up completely and to give it a very neat finishing. So I'll just take this round to get what will be enough to cover this. So using cloth gum and ribbon 
for the final finishing. So after using my ribbon for the final finishing, you can see how beautiful and very neat the cap is looking inside out. So this is basically all for today's fashion DIY. Please let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section and please do not forget to give this video a like if you learned anything from this tutorial please hit the like button and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please hit the subscribe button is free thanks for watching and see you in our next fashion diy bye